Former Mules basketball coach Ken Anderson, who coached with the Mules from 2002 to 2014. There comes a time in the life of an athletic program where it seems as if all the stars are aligned and something special is going to happen. When athletic director Jerry Hughes made the decision to move the Mules basketball program in a different direction following the 2001-2002 season, Jerry made a move that many thought was impossible. But when Kim Anderson accepted the offer of what he called a perfect fit to take, take over the program for the 0203 season, the first star in that alignment was in place. Now, the first year wasn't a winning season, 13 and 15. Coach Anderson believes that group set the tone for what was to come by fighting hard every day and game. After that season, things started to fall into place, and for the next 11 seasons, Mules basketball wouldn't suffer a sub-500 record. UCM basketball fans would have plenty to celebrate with an average of almost 24 wins per season, six MIAA regular season championships, four MIAA tournament championships, seven NCAA Division II regional appearances, three NCAA Division II Final Fours, and of course that ultimate prize of the 2014 NCAA Division II National Championship. When his alma mater of the University of Missouri came calling following the 2014 title, Coach Anderson had put his name at the top of the great history of Mules coaches as the winningest coach in program history. Looking back at it all, Coach Anderson points to that first team, as mentioned earlier, as the group that is so dear to his heart, with many other teams to follow that would build on each success of the previous group. He calls that 13-14 team that won the national title the most together group he had with unbelievable competitiveness. But it's also hard not to mention other teams. What may be the best team he had in 09-010, just missing the trip to the Elite Eight. The other two final four teams of 06-07 and 08-09. Those enjoyed winning regional titles in front of huge crowds at the multi-purpose building. Coach Anderson quick to point out that without the support of his family, players, his assistant coaches, UCM administrators, athletic staff, and friends, none of this would have been possible. Coach Anderson wants to thank first his family, led by what he calls the best assistant coach he's had for 41 years, his wife Melissa. His sons, Ryan and Brett, who we all grew up, who we all watched grow up here. His mom and dad, his sister Kathy, of course, who was one of our first inductees into the UCM Athletic Hall of Fame. Kim's brother Kevin and all of his in-laws, the Newman clan, his longtime assistant Brad Luce, athletic director Jerry Hughes, former UCM president Dr. Chuck Ambrose, his MU Tigers coach and mentor, Norm Stewart, Gene Ivo, and all the fans of Mule Nation, both locally and across this nation. For more on Coach Kim Anderson, let's enjoy this video. In the spring of 2002, Jerry Hughes, the longtime athletics director for the University of Central Missouri, was searching for the right head coach to take over the Mules basketball program. Having considered a number of possibilities, he set his sights on a coach with strong Central Missouri ties. I went up to the Big 12 tournament, had a preliminary discussion with Kim, and I thought he was a perfect fit. I mean, he had a great career at Sedalia High School, a Big 8 Player of the Year at Mizzou, well-liked, good family. Kim came in here, and the results are great from what he was able to achieve. Coach Anderson's 12-year tenure marked a return to excellence for the Mules basketball program, the team became a force in the MIAA conference, made regular appearances in NCAA postseason play, and capped off his UCM career with a thrilling 2014 national championship. Seven NCAA appearances, three regional championships. 2014 was a great team, and it was a true team. A couple of his other final, uh, or elite eight teams, potentially were better, got real close, but the 14 team was a special group. Coach Anderson really uh, related well with his players. It was a family. His players loved him. They played for him. Being a great player, I think, helped him to relate with the players. You know, he could be a tough love guy, you know, uh, on and off the court. But they really respected him for that and, and played hard for him. Joining Coach Anderson on the UCM staff was a GA named Brad Luce. Now with the University of Missouri, Luce says the experience was invaluable and led to great success at Central Missouri. When you talk about Coach A, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is, is how much of a competitor he is. That's what he expected of his staff and his players, and not just on the court, in the classroom, and in life. He was definitely more than a boss to me. Uh, he was family, and uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to get to work for a guy that uh, not only was a great coach, but even better person. 
For a decade, UCM Jenny's head coach David Slifer shared the court at the multi-purpose building with his Mules counterpart. Both coaches have taken their teams to national championships at Central Missouri. Kim uh, obviously came out every year and had uh, not only great teams, but teams that uh, you know guarded extremely well. They were very efficient offensively, and uh, they were a disciplined team that got to the Elite Eight two or three times before they won it all. Brennan Hughes was a key contributor on Anderson's 2014 national championship team. Following a brief stint in the corporate world, he decided to rejoin his collegiate coach and embark on a basketball coaching career of his own. He's an amazing guy, you know, on and off the court. You know, I couldn't play or work for anybody better. Coach Anderson taught me so much, not just with basketball, just life in general, you know, which thank him for bringing me on and allowing me to start my journey with him. Seven of Coach Anderson's years at UCM produced seasons of at least 20 victories. His national championship team reached the 30-win plateau. He is the winningest coach of all time at Central Missouri with a record of 275 wins and 95 losses. Anderson's teams were tenacious, played tough defense, and showcased a play-to-the-final-buzzer mentality. Mule Ball made UCM home games at the Multi a must-see event. We had great attendance during Coach Anderson's tenure here. I mean, you know, we were fortunate enough to host a couple of regionals, and in those regional championships games, we had over 6,000, 6,500 here in the multi for those games. Made it very difficult for teams to come in here. I, I do think he has adapted to his players. He really emphasized the defensive side of the game. And you can look at that from the results when they played for the national championship. All the teams that we played in that run were averaging a lot more points than what we gave up on those sides. A devoted teacher of the game and a proven leader, Anderson coached the Mules to basketball greatness. Along the way, his players, fans, and colleagues knew doing things the right way would always guide his actions. The thing that always really sticks out when I think about Coach A, you know, how he treated me when my daughter got sick. I can remember him calling me in and insisted that I kind of step away from the job for a little bit, be with my family, and uh, you know, I'll forever be grateful for that time. And obviously there was a lot of pressure on us to win games, and uh, he never let that even begin to be a part of the equation. It was always about me and my family, and uh, just tells you what kind of guy he is. Coach A into the UCM Athletic Hall of Fame. Coach Kim Anderson.